Just when looking at you open up my eyes And I'll stay with you forever all the time And I'm stepping out to leave it all behind I'm confident your love will be my side Just when looking at you open up my eyes And I'll stay with you forever all the time And I'm stepping out to leave it all behind I'm confident your love will be my side Right, sunny day today Makes a change, it's been cold slightly freezing the mountains snow is starting to melt so we are out today with my new toy not really a toy because it's pretty dangerous because it is strong and we're going to be testing this because i've got the scope for it so i'm gonna be lining up the sights on the scope it is a beaut it's a targus um hunter pro ruger targets hunter max sorry not pro i'm talking about um this didn't come with it it came with a standard one that was just made of this stuff but i wanted it to be comfy so i upgraded the holder um i upgraded these mounts because i wanted the scope to be slightly higher so that it just didn't touch this it literally just clears the the original iron scope because I don't want to take it off and then we've got my budget chicken of the sea which is actually tuna and I stick these stickers uh, from Walmart in the front one and we're going to see how far it, I know it pierces through one I just can't see it piercing through three so over here I have a hay bale um, just to keep this target at the back like that so i'm going to give it a couple of shots and we're going to see how far it goes through hopefully it ends up stuck in the middle that's the theory i've just put sellotape around three cans basically nice cheap budget way of storing up the bullets uh, so yeah we're going to be i think it's about 10 15 paces let's have a go all right so from here we can do like one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, about here. So about about that far. Because if you saw a, like, say you was like shooting a rat or a mouse or something vermin, you'd be like, oh look, I see one. Like that down, just there. So this is kind of the distance you'd be. So let's give it a go. The bullets lead shot that we're going to be using these hollow points just premium from amazon and they're 22 caliber 500 six dollars for these i got two of these and they're quite good quality i mean look at them very nice they're not rough around the edges or anything um so yeah I like them so we're going to use them and so on the scope of this air rifle uh, so you got this one here is for sort of zooming in and out and this one's for the focus right on the end there and that's the iron scope which we're not using but that's got adjusters which are already set up and a silencer on the end which stays on you can't take it off keeps it nice and quiet because i think it's got a five stage five stage silencer inside so it goes through five different chambers to silence it safety on here so every time you shoot um, the safety will kick back in ready for the next shot so when you load the gun up it's always going to be safety on um, but it's uh, a cocking mechanism so you pull this over and uh, to stick the pellet in the end of the barrel and there she is the Ruger Targus Hunter Max. She's a beast. And uh, yeah, let's get shooting. Okay, right, first shot using the scope. And I did like put it right in the middle. So it's not bad, not bad, not bad. We got it. We got it there. And check it out. It went through the whole thing. So it's pretty strong. We're gonna see how many cans of tuna it does take. 
because I'm going to go and tape another two on it now. I'll be back. Okay, I am back with two more cans attached. So now we're now we're on five cans of tuna. Let's move that round there a little bit. Right. It's still the original can. I'll just turn it on its side. Okay, let us see how far it goes in that one. All right, we hit similar place uh, to the last one, so it definitely needs moving over to the left. But, oh boy, it's gone through five. Let's stick another, stick another two on. Right, will this beast of an air gun go through seven cans of tuna? I hope not, because I can't be bothered to go back to the house again to get any more. It's becoming too much. Right, seven cans of tuna, here we go. All right, just before we do that next shot on the seven cans, on this scope, if you take this off, you can adjust it. See, it says like push that way to go left. And we want to go left a few little clicks. That was three clicks. Um, so we'll try that. See if it gets more in the middle. Right, we got more in the middle of the can, but I noticed it hit a point on the can where it actually at the angle it went in, it didn't actually pierce it. Which is strange, isn't it? So you got these and go through five and then you hit it on a weird part of the can and it doesn't even pierce through. Madness. We'll give it another one though, but it's definitely, definitely more in the middle, look. Sweet. Okay. Right, this one went slightly over a bit, um, but, We've reached the limit. It did hit the last one, <laughs> but it didn't get, woo, didn't get through all seven. So we're reaching seven. Six, no problem, seven though. No. All right, let's try and dial in the scope a bit more. I've changed, because I was doing it free end. Now I've got this tire. I'm actually using this as a rest. So I'm gonna dial it in properly now. All right, that last one. <laughs> made it through all seven which is annoying I don't see the pellet there though I wonder if it just pierced it and stayed in the can maybe not yeah exactly alright um, I might put another can on but let's try one more alright this was pretty accurate as in I felt it was pretty on there when I took the shot so um we're definitely still going. I moved the cam around, but we're definitely still going this way a bit. A little bit of a drop. Didn't go through the can though. We have another one in there. I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna adjust it a, a lot more that way and see what happens. Right, I've given the rifle seven clicks left and three clicks up. I'm gonna show you a close up. I'm just going to load the gun. Right. So, seven clicks. And it's only moved, and I've definitely had it like hovering maybe like this. Um, it's definitely gone up a lot. It just hasn't gone left or not. Right, so, I'll try it again. One second. I'll change it a little bit. Right, there's hardly any difference. Um, it's not moving left enough. The grouping's pretty much the same. We've done it. 
Let's group it. I'll just carry on shooting like that now and we'll see what happens. I'll just do more and see if it's accurate. There's a little bit left again, but not bad. It's definitely grouping. It's definitely grouping. Yeah, that was another one in the middle. She's good. She is definitely good. All right, that's the final group in those last three. Bop, bop, bop. <laughs> Gonna have to do something about that. I have bought a, um, a proper hardened steel target thing that flips and stuff. Uh, my budget, my budget targets, uh, or an epic fail, really. I mean, if you said to someone, oh, do you think that an air rifle with just two two bullets is going to go through seven cans of tuna, they'd probably be like, no. Yeah. Not all of them, but most of them. But even the ones that get through, they're bouncing against the hay bale and stopping or they're going back in the can. Cool, cool, cool. Right, so the conclusion to that test was the scope is pretty decent. I'm quite happy with it, the way it's uh, performing. Tuna cans, nah, that is a bad idea. Does not work, doesn't work, even if you had 10, which is why I've bought a target. Look at this bad boy, and that's, that's how big my hand is. This is crashed and burned, but look how beautiful that is. Stunning. Never seen nothing like that before. Right, anyway, let's go do some shooting. Right, we're back again. We have some snow on the mountains this time. It's getting a bit chilly, hence the body warmer. Uh, it's not too windy today, which is why I'm out, because we, are going pew 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 we're going to shoot some targets shot this the other day to get the sight sort of dialed in and yeah was quite happy with the grouping and not so happy with the fact that it went through the can completely uh yeah that was going to be my budget target but no longer, because we have bought, me have bought, I have bought this Trap Shot by Umrex, which is the same company that has made my gun, which I'll show you in a minute. This is an Umrex zeroed in target. So what you do is you basically shoot this and it stays up. Hopefully, we don't know yet. Shoot this and it stays up. And then you shoot this and they come back down again. Now this is like steel plate. Um, hopefully it doesn't do anything like what the tuna cans do. Um, these stickers, right, so it comes with some like plain orange stickers for the front. But I bought these, these little target stickers um, from Walmart. I think they were $6 uh, for a bunch of them. I say a bunch of them, got quite a few there. And so I just stuck one of them on the front of it just to give it a bit more of a center point rather than it just being a round dot. And yeah, we're gonna shoot this. Right, let's see how dialed in the scope is after resting it on the shelf for a couple of days. Oh, 
Well, hey, she's all right. <laughs> I heard the ricochet on that one. I was just gonna have a look at it, one second. Where am I tapping you? Oh, I'm actually hitting the bottom, Jesus. Yeah, that's not good. That's not good at all. <laughs> look at that. Bob, Bob, Bob. Right on the bottom, it's got bullet drop. Yeah. Okay. Bit of damage there, my old son. Bit of damage there, my old son. Look at that. Holy potatoes. Right. I'm gonna clickety click the, what's it called, and change it, move it up a bit. There we go. There we go. I see a bit of damage though. What is that? My God, yeah, it does. It does tear the old stickers up, doesn't it? Just stay to that bad boy. You see my shots on these as well. That feels like, oh no, it's not that bad actually. I mean, it definitely explodes on the target. Let's show you up a bit closer, look at this. Yeah, look at that. It's done some damage. It's done a bit of damage. Right. Bit of damage. This is what I'm using, by the way. I'm just using some tires as a kind of pillar to rest on. And shooting down. Shooting down from here for now. And then we're going to move back. Got it. Oh, I knocked the other one back down. Interesting. Interesting. Didn't say that in the booklet, did it? It didn't say may cause other targets to drop back down. No, it didn't. Oh. <laughs> oh, I see. You don't want to stay up. Oh, I get ya. There we go. Yay, successful! I didn't think they'd do that, that's crazy. I'm gonna show you them. <laughs> that is mental. That is the bullets. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Look at that. That's how flat the bullets are going when they hit them targets. So, there's a bullet. And that's it, flat splat. <laughs> That'd be quite handy if it did that all the time. It really would. All right, is it gonna stay up? Are they gonna stay up this time? No. <laughs> it's good though, right? It's good. Maybe they designed it like that. Maybe that's how it's supposed to be. So you can just repeat, repeat, repeat. There we go. All right, last shot of the day. And then it's a wrap. Rappy wrap, wrap. Cheers, we out of here. Yeah, that was fun. I enjoyed that. It's a bit muddy. Look, I've got mud on the box. Let me show you these beautiful mountains before we go. And then we'll say, see you next video. Look at these beautiful snowy mountains. All right, guys, I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, like, subscribe, and you will see more different 
content to come.